One of the biggest issues you're going to run into if you're building a hollow wood surfboard is getting the slots in the ribs and spar straight. You can do it with a jigsaw, you can do it with a bandsaw, but they're not going to be perfect every time. So we're going to show you how to set a very simple device up that you can build yourself and cut perfect ribs every time. So here's what we have. These are the things you're going to need for this. <clears throat> you need a couple clamps, a router, uh, a screw gun, a couple pieces of angle aluminum. This is inch and a half aluminum. And then you're going to need two pieces of wood. You need a piece for the base. This happens to be a 20 by 20 piece of three quarter inch ply. And then you're going to need a quarter inch thick piece of ply. This is 15 by 20 to fit back. The idea is to leave a space up here in front and we're going to put these two rails along. So now we're going to set the width by taking a router, putting it in, and you notice the handles will have to go front to back. Put it in, I get it too tight but snug. So that's nice and snug. And then we'll move it up to the front, bring it into where it's snug. This is going to be the important area right here. So that's a nice fit. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, bit in the router now. Okay, we have the bit in the router. This is uh, this bit width is going to be determined by the width of your ribs. I happen to be using uh, quarter inch ribs, so uh, this is a quarter inch straight cut router bit. What you want it to do is you want it to extend far enough that when you put it in the slots, it's going to actually go a little bit into the base piece of wood. That's going to create a groove back there and then you're actually going to go into the back piece a little bit too. Alright, here we go. So this is the groove that we've created, and it starts in the first piece and it extends into here. I'm going to pick one of the wider ribs to show you, and what you do is you slide it right under the thing. Now using the groove that we made as a guide front and back, we get that centered perfectly, and then I put one of these clamps on each side. Now also notice a couple things on the rib. I'll get another one here. I've marked the rib location all the way through so I can line it up with the front of the groove and the back of the groove. Then I've also marked a sideways and this is approximately half the width of the rib. That's how far I want to go with my groove. I'll go halfway and then the spar will have the other half in the top of it. So you'll get a perfect mate. So I've got my halfway mark here. I'm set up in the middle of the groove. see they will fit together make a nice fit now 
This space that I left here is actually a little wider than my widest rib. My widest rib is four inches and this is about five inches. And the reason for that is when you're doing a spar, you have to, it's got a curve to it for the, for the rocker. So you have to move it a little bit. But if you mark the spar the same way that you did these, mark it all the way through, mark where you, how deep you want to cut it. And remember on the ribs, you're cutting from the bottom, the spar you're cutting from the top. So you mark how deep you want to cut it and you'll have to put it at an angle in some places so you need this little bit of extra room in here but just do them carefully one at a time clamp them nice and tight and you'll have a perfect fit that's it